All right, I think I'm live, so welcome back to World of Light Nuzlocke, aka Lightlock. When we left off, we had lost a distressing number of characters last time relative to the previous outing, but um, made some progress as well. We got the giant zapfish um defeated in on the first try actually uh we finished the like whatever the kid icarus area in the upper left is called um we got ready to deal with raflo so that we haven't haven't actually uh taken him on yet but like i'm he's uh i can go directly to him if i want to um got access to this you know these gates by defeating the zapfish which means we can go get little mac what else? Um, I don't know. Probably some other stuff, too. I think right now uh, my plan was at least consider trying to beat Mr. Sandman here. And I want to say that um, for this fight... This is... Oh, this is by last year's time. Um, I want to say that for this fight, um, the slumber floor, like I said, is out on the side, so we don't actually necessarily need slumber immunity, even though I like just picked that up at the end last time, too. So we could go with lipstick, stamina up, stamina up. And do I want to stick with Pit, who I was apparently playing last time? I guess so. I don't know. It probably doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I can get him... Oh, no. It takes too long. Oh, that did kill him! Alright, let's go. That's a good start. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I was thinking, like, I wonder if I can... Like, if that'll actually do enough knockback to kill... Uh, and it did. Hey ho! All right. Um, and we might, might. Um, I mean, I have like, I'm pretty sure like no snacks. Uh, but we might want to consider leveling up a little him up a little bit. Um, because he might at top level be a little bit better than Min Min. I don't know. It might also not be worth it. Um, but I can maybe fight some easy fights of them sort of thing like I was doing last time with some other spirits. Also, that reminds me, we gotta check and see if we can get that dang dark suit. Not yet. Buy some skill spheres, sure. And some snacks, but yeah, we still, still haven't gotten that. Very annoying. Meanwhile, we're gonna go get Little Mac. Um, we obviously don't need stamina for this. We'll just do... Uh... Four club. There we go. Ready? Go!
There we go. <laughs> ding, ding, bang. All right, let's get little Mac up on the board. Uh, I did shrink the size of the bottom display because I think we're at the point there's enough characters now. It doesn't look totally ridiculous. I wanted it to take up a little less screen real estate. I might at some point have to do that with the top one too, but let's see. Uh, apparently we can also get a skill. I forget what I was even going for. Oh, it was uh, Hyper Smash attacks. Okay. So yeah, we need 15 to get to Tilt Attack up. I think we're just going to go for that. I don't think there's... Any real reason to take like defense up when healthy over that? It's only 15 more, and defense up when healthy is not that valuable anyway. All right, so we got a little Mac. Um, we could go. Oh, you know what we could probably do is go get Hal Emmerich so that we can get into the base. Let's see. Yeah, Bomberman's maxed out. This should not be. Terribly difficult. What's the deal with this guy? Avoids conflict is metal. Okay. Let's go air attack. Weapon attack since I'm playing pit anyway. Is like stuck in the ground. Yes! Yes! That makes this so much easier. Oh my gosh. I was looking at that and I was like, is he just gonna die? Or like. But I didn't know how to like make that happen. Oh my gosh, that was such a good back air. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that was simple enough. And now we can get use the beam sword. That's actually as much as getting into the base the reason that I wanted to, wanted to do that. Alrighty. So now, um, yeah, we could definitely just go do the base. We don't have Mega Man yet, right? Right. Oh, Mega Man is right outside the base. Okay, yeah, because Mega Man was super good at killing Gallium. I want to do that again. Um, yeah, let's just go do that. Do the base, I mean. Oh, uh, was, was I anything in here? I went, no, I already got the Bomb Spirit, that's right. First thing we gotta do is beat Andy, who is pretty scary. It's, it's uh, like a ton of exploding things. I'm trying to remember if I have like fire and explosion resist. I think I have that as a uh, um, a skill. Oh, giant! I forgot about that. I yeah, I have giant now. You do that. I probably should a oh, water freezing resist. Okay, so there is one resist thing, but not the kind that I care about. Yeah, I should probably start bring some of these. Like, definitely the beam sword. And... Assist killer. Lipstick. Stamina, stamina. Air attack. Weapon attack. Shield durability, boomerang. Landing lag. 
The immunity stuff doesn't really need to be favorited. Dash attack, fist attack, fist attack. Hurry's a little bit more niche at this point. Giant. Why is this lip why is this lipstick three stars? Maybe I should be using that one. Maybe it lasts longer or is harder to knock out or something. I, the other one's one star, right? <laughs> like, oh hey, this is another dash attack up. I don't know if it's useful to have two of those, but... Else is good. Insta drop is not something we're going to use often, but it is notable that we have it. So I guess I'm going to put that on too. Oh, hey, another fist attack. Oh, and then an ore club. Okay. Boom. Hopefully we can just kill them super quickly by being giant. Ready? Go! Like that. And that. Oh. Oh. Uh oh, I lost track of where I was. As far as I got Final Smash already. Let's go. Boom! Double kill! Lock, I'm not sure if that was his own mind getting set off or if that was uh, just like the the end of the bomb or what exactly. All right, yeah, so we can get this chest. Oh, I think. Let me look at what that one is, but I think that's another one that's not really worth worrying about. Yeah, two into three star, but it's lightweight. So. Oh, Sigma! Sigma, right. Sigma is actually a really good one. So what is it? Wep melee weapons have increased power, stamina battle. Alright, whatever. We'll just do the lipstick and double stamina up thing. Yeah, actually, Sigma is better than Sandman. I shouldn't worry about Sandman. I remember this. Sigma has more base power. Top smash. That would have hit too. Ow. Ow. Oh gosh. What? That went right through him. Hit your hitboxes suck. Damn. 
Dang it! I keep I keep dash attacking instead of up smashing. Or I don't know if it's. Dang it! He got back to center stage. Somehow he still has more HP than me after that. Oh, what? That went right through him. No, no. Oh, that actually wasn't that bad. Ow! No, no! Oh my god. Well, that was sad. I think I would have been fine if I had not kept doing things like getting dash attacks instead of up smashes, like when he was like on platforms. That dash attack with the lipstick is super laggy too. Um, honestly, I don't really want to use a good character right now. I'll just use Isabel. I don't know why I'm doing so much better this time. <laughs> Did I air dodge that? No, I don't, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I just destroyed him that time. I don't know why. <laughs> like, whatever. Oh yeah, and Sigma has three slots. Yeah. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. There's Mega Man. Where are we on this? 33. Oh, I should check this shop too. I should be checking this shop after like every fight. There it is! There it is! Yes! Alright, now we're in business.
Here we go. The light suit. Four stars and healing shield, which is really nice too. All right. all the snacks. Oh, we didn't quite get there. Okay, but now we've got our most powerful spirit with the healing shield. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And we, well, I guess we're not actually going to use it against Mega Man, maybe. Actually, we probably should, honestly. It's probably just better than Bomberman. We don't have like a green one that we want to like train up particularly. I, my recollection is it's hard to find like a good green one for like a long stretch. Um, I mean like maybe this one is better than Bomberman, but like lightweight is a pretty bad attribute in my opinion. Yeah. But whatever, we'll just use this. Good giant. Giant Isabel. Ready? Go! Giant Isabel may not be my strongest option. <laughs> I don't know that the, that the, um, that Isabelle's grab did that. Uh, like, it, I, I, like, basically scooped up that green shell in my net, and then... Goes, that's a good that fight is a good demonstration of how I'm just mostly flailing about with Isabel. All right. So I'll trade Pit for uh, Mega Man, even if only just so that Mega Man can fight Gallium and nothing else. Oh, we can probably get that skill. Yeah. Alright, this is one where we could use one of the lower level ones. So... I think that's gonna be Sigma. I think that's the most valuable for one for me to train up. Like, if we look by... We don't have like a by rating one? I guess the. No, it do even that doesn't have. That's silly. Um. If... Is there. There's not an enhanced ability filter. Alright, hold <laughs> on. Maybe I can do it this way.
Right, so these are the only three stars that I have. And then enhanced ability, we've got... Uh, this one upgrades into three stars, so that's all right. This one as well. But like, you know, those are both gray, so that's not particularly important. Yeah, I think, I think it's definitely Sigma. That we want to level up. Let's go. Giant Beam Sword, the classic combo. Where it matters much less what character you're playing. Ready? Go! Yeah. <laughs> We even got a snack for that. All right, yeah, I kind of remember this, so... Here, how we get to one of those switches? We need to get to this one. I think. Yeah, Ocelot is a pretty solid green three star, actually. So, like, we want to replace Bomberman. He's not too bad of a choice, although we probably won't actually get far enough along for it to really matter. But, alright, so we want our electric floor immunity for this one, and we either want to level up Sigma, or we want to, well, we have, like, no snacks, so never mind, I'm just gonna switch to, switch to Min Min. Anyway, Ocelot could be one that we work on for green to replace Bomberman, but it's quite possible that by the time we would get him, like, leveled up, enhanced, and leveled up again, that, uh, that we'd end up, like, being able to just use some four-star that we got in the Dark World or something. Oh, dang it, I wanted to shoot that thing, not, not like, dash attack with it. That was far away. Oh, oh, there's another one right here. There we go. So now, okay, can we, we can go in here, I guess, to get to the three door. Oh, well, we might as well go get that chest. I already know. Nice. What's over on the left? It's Dr. Wily. We're not dealing with that. I guess we can do these fights now, though. Um, all right. So is there anything I should grab before I just go straight for hyper smash attacks is the question. I... I don't really think so. Maybe airborne endurance. 
to be all right, but... We're gonna have to reconfigure when we get to Gallium anyway. All right, if we are gonna level up Ocelot, this would be a fight to do it. What's the deal? Hostile assist trophies will appear. Oh, it's gonna be frickin' Akira, isn't it? Well, we can get assist killer for that. Do we have, like, any snacks? I think we have at least one. Yeah. Alright, let's just do this. Wow. That could be a bit of a waste, but... I'll make it not risky. He just frickin' tanked that F-Smash. I guess Little Mac being dead makes it matter not so much whether Akira is dead or not. This would be a good one for Sigma, maybe? Is it stamina battle with bombs? Uh, I guess we could go explosion up. It's is probably going to be more bombs, but. Hmm. Or we just go Pain Sword. Alright, I'll level him like with the small snack, or medium rather, we just got. I'll just use them both. Swords are obviously more effective weapons than bombs. I was probably more scared about that than I needed to be. We still got snacks for it, though, so I guess it's fine. Invest a couple, got a couple back out, so... Do on... Alright, whatever, I'll just use Light Suit for this. Giant... Uh, Ice Climber, Stamina Battle... Maybe I should have just gone giant myself for this rather than going stamina up. I don't know. Shouldn't matter. Ready? Go! Something just happened there to just blow them the hell up. I mean, I know I shot that 
sub gun, but like they took so much damage so quickly all of a sudden. Holy crap. Side room. So I think what we want to do is hit like the outer consoles first. Oh, easy. So wait, what does this one do? to do that. What about this one? Yeah, never mind. Okay. Okay, so if I recall correctly... No, I don't recall correctly. I was thinking this was Snake. But I guess Snake is the other one. Cardboard box. All right. Uh, this seems like one where we're just gonna go light suit. Stamina battle, enemy is metal. Oh yeah, I kind of remember this. Um. Hmm. St double stamina up seems like a good idea. I'm just wondering if I should use a different character. Maybe Mario, he's got a cape. Right. Mario! I do remember this one being hard. God damn it, that's annoying. Ah! Oh god, the, the mushroom went away. Ah, oh, if I can kill one of them. sit there and do that. I'll just throw fucker balls at you, I guess. There we 
go. All right, good job, Mario. Yeah, that fight's scary. Scary stuff. All right, what are we doing against Snake? It'd be nice to have Sigma leveled up, but I don't think we have snacks enough to finish the job here. We try. So, min min it is. And should we stick with Mario? We can stick with Mario, I guess. Makes fist attack pretty good, I guess. Or air attack. Yeah, air attack. I sure does like doing that F-Smash. Oh. There we go, bang. Welcome aboard, Snake. I assume we're nowhere close to having a hundred of these. We got 45, that's more than I was actually thinking. But I guess we're gonna go fight Gallium, which means we're gonna redo these in a second anyway. It's down this way, right? All right, first boss fight. Time to mess with our skill tree. So we don't want final smash. We don't really want thrown items either. Um, we don't want either of these or this. We don't really need that either, I don't think. So, we could take Hyper Smashes, certainly. Where's, like, Air Attack up? Oh, it's all the way down here. Yeah, we're not gonna get down there. So... This is not actually that great either, necessarily. Like, Super Armor, probably not gonna be enough. So, probably we want... I think Hyper Smashes is good. We could get Air Attack up regular there. I mean, mostly, we're, we're gonna be almost entirely using Aerials, so anything that increases Air Attack power is gonna be good. I guess I could count, so like, how long does it take to get to 130, 90, so 220, 320 already just from that. Like, uh, 340, 370, 390, 410. So if we forgot, I mean, if we forgot like this stuff, we would have enough for it. Although shield durability is pretty valuable. If we forgot this stuff, though, I think we're just a bit short. Oh, 
Wait, did I say it was 410? Dang it. I can't. Just let me, like. So, 220. 320. Uh, 340. 370, 390, 410. Yeah, okay. Double air attack up. Alright, cool. So, now we have shield durability, we have Hyper smashes, and we have double air attack up. Can we get to single air attack up instead of hyper smashes, though? 40, 80, 140, 230. No, surely not. Even if we forgot all of this, really. That is enough. That's exactly enough. All right. <laughs> Just all air attack. Wasted a little bit of SP there, but it doesn't really matter. It shouldn't matter. Okay. So we have Tult Attack up, Shield Durability up, and then Air Attack up, and the rest of it's whatever. Oh, hey. Um, is my chat widget working? Uh, I hope it's working. I did add the chat widget since last time. Let's see. Yep, it's working. Sweet. Okay. So now somebody watching on YouTube will know what the heck I'm talking about when I'm responding to a message in chat. <laughs> Uh, that's good. Yeah, forgetting skills is, uh, it's not free, but it's, like, pretty close to free, so... It's actually a pretty good idea. I mean, in theory, I think... Well, if you had enough SP, you could, like, reconfigure all the time, but I mostly just do it, do it for the boss fights. Um... Okay. So then... We're gonna switch to Mega Man... Because his up air is really, really good at killing Gallium. That's what I did last time, and it worked very well. We're obviously going to use the light suit. I guess we can see whether we have enough to upgrade it to... No, we actually... Well... That's yeah, not worth it, I think. To use the, the big one. I mean, the big snack. So, we'll just go in with level 98. It's probably fine. Um, beam sword equipped? Maybe. No, probably not. Air attack up for sure. Uh, I don't think we have the other air attack up. There is another air... Oh, it's Rathalos is the other air attack up. Okay, well, that's... Yeah, that's fine. Um, landing... Oh, no, wait. We want insta-drop. That's right. Never mind. We want insta-drop. All right, let's go. That way you can do all the up airs. Flawless. Let's go. <laughs> Get wrecked, Gallium. Get wrecked.
Oh man, yeah. I mean that that up air does so much damage, but also I for whatever reason right now or like recently, I guess like last run is mostly what I'm thinking about. I found him also the easiest boss to like not get hit by his attacks for whatever reason. Man, if only I could do all the boss fights that well. <laughs> All right, so now, before I reconfigure my skills again, I'm just gonna get out of here. So do we wanna do... Rathalos next? Or Bowser's Castle? Or possibly go get Pikachu? I think Pikachu, maybe. Just cause that's like a shorter thing. Although, if I go to Rathalos next, I don't have to redo my skills. Which is a pretty compelling argument. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. I mean, I want I might want to do them a little, redo them a little bit, but I don't need to like completely change them back and then change them back again. So, I, although honestly, air attack up is one of, if not the best. I guess well against Rathalos, he just gets stunned. So we could go back and get hyper smash attacks again, so that we can like hit him when he gets when he's stunned on the ground. Yeah, I think that'd be good. I think that'd be good. I wish I could like do this because it's like, you know, if I if I want to do this one, then I have to do the other ones in front of it, and it can count like how many spears it's gonna take for me to do it too. All right, so I got forty extra to, to play with. That's probably not gonna do me a whole lot. Rose certainly isn't. Meteor, not really. Endless smash holding, I don't care. Breaking ability, that's something. I guess I could have. Oh, thrown items up would actually be nice against him, but I guess we'll take breaking ability and... We don't... We will eventually get this back, so we might as well grab it back now, I guess. Even though we're not really going to use it for this fight. And now Rathalos took way too many characters from me last time. But, uh, hopefully we can improve on that this time. Can I level you up without a... I think that's... yeah, that's not enough. Alright, we'll do this then. Alright, we don't want Insta Drop now. What do we want? Air Attack up. And I guess it might actually depend on what character I'm playing. So let me see. I don't think I want to use Mega Man for this because like the the Galleon is just like so tall. <laughs> and Rathalos is not. Rathalos is long. Long Rathalos is long. So given how many characters I lost last time to Rathalos, I'm inclined to throw Isabel back out there just to like have somebody that is not. Like a heartbreaking loss. Um, granted, Isabel doesn't have very strong aerials, but that's okay. We might end up mostly using the smash attacks regardless. 
Uh, to get my other support in here. I don't know what it should be. We could go shield durability, actually. I think that makes sense. We've got the healing shield. Alrighty. Let's do it. Let's be able to hold PK Thunder. Yeah, maybe. Ow. Yeah, healing shield. Let's go. Ow. Oh, we're doing this already. Oh no! I thought I I thought that lasted longer. Get on the ground, please. Thank you. That's what I was kind of trying to do last time. Alright, this is... Uh, I, I was reluctant to say anything, but this is going pretty well. Shield durability was a good call, I think. Ow. Ow! Thought I timed that. Oh, he's so close to dead. Oh, now he's gonna do the thing again. Dang it. There we go. First try! Let's go! <laughs> Right. Isabel just too strong, I guess. I wonder if I can favorite air attack from the screen. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, anyway, I think I think the problem with the PK Thunder thing uh would just be like having somewhere to stand if that makes sense like because you, you can't like move around while you're controlling the the pk thunder so like unlike uh 
Mega Man's up air, which has like an active hitbox that you don't need to do anything to sustain. It just... Like, if Rathalos is doing stuff, you're getting hit. If Rathalos is stunned, you probably want to be using something stronger. I guess if you could set it and then, like, stop controlling it, there may be a way to do that. Like, to just, like, let it go. Maybe if you'd, like, double tap the B button or something. I don't know if that's a thing, but maybe it's a thing. All right. Well, but while I'm thinking about it, I want to favorite my new air attack so I don't forget I have it. There it is. Yeah, I mean, it definitely does normally. I'm just wondering if there's some way to trigger it to... Uh, like, to release so that it'll just, like, fly straight off. Like, there are other projectiles that work that way, but I don't know that there's a way to do it with PK Thunder. I mean, I guess if it flew straight off, then that would somewhat defeat the purpose. Really, what you want is, like, something that works like Mega Man's up air except sideways. <laughs> I don't know if there is anything like that, really. The drill works like that, but the drill is, like, a one-shot thing. Uh, oh, yeah. We get to go over here now. Right when it matters the most. I don't even know if that's an efficient way to get where I want to go next, which is Bowser's Castle and or Pikachu. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. If anything... Maybe I should go up to Wart and then like, find the path that loops back down. I mean, I want to go up there anyway at some point, so... Yeah. So let's go across, back across the water. Ah! Alright, we are training Sigma, so this is definitely a good one for that. We can get our Slumber Floor immunity. Oh, that only costs one slot, too. Just do Giant, I guess. Giant Isabel. Oh, I forgot to change my uh, skills. I'll do that after this fight. Oh, I had a, didn't even realize I had that turn up. Oh, get destroyed, Peach. Oh, I did that F smash the wrong way, but I guess it was fine. Tree. So we're gonna forget all of this and go back and get, uh, actually, let's grab this first. And double final. <laughs> yes. Conquest certainly is interesting. Oh, uh, unflinching charge smashes. Get that. Okay, so now we've got hyper, but not unflinching. I think we'll just save for unflinching rather than switching that back around. So you only have 13 to go to get this. Conquest is a very fun... Well... It, uh, no, I mean, it's it's a very fun game to play, like, it can be kind of overwhelming at times, but but I think it's fun to play, but boy, that story is, uh, is real special. 
Alright, so... Oh, wait, I thought there was... I thought there was a way that we could do more over here than just get, like, one character. Or maybe we have to get... Is this DDD to, to unlock that? Maybe, I don't know. Alright, Flying Man, this... Yeah, this is a tough one, but the Healing Shield will definitely help with that. Oh, it's a stamina battle? Okay, so let's just go double stamina up for this, then... I mean, it could be nice to have a, um... Have a lipstick, but... Eh, whatever. <laughs> I have not actually even touched Revolution. I didn't, like, start out intending not to, but just... After I, like, didn't even finish Birthright, it seemed like a great idea to... Wait, did that... Did, did he somehow reverse that uh, Lloyd Rocket to hit me? Something there? Ow! I really want to take out this Ness, because that way we only have to fight, like, one enemy at a time. Oh, it was just still still there? I thought he for sure he'd hit it with his uppie. Ow. What? No! What the heck? Why did I fall off stage there? <laughs> what? That was going well. What was that? I like... Oh, maybe I need to turn up the opacity on that. I can't even read the text on the over actual overlay. Let's try this. Man, that was, that was so weird. I, like, I did my side B and, like, grabbed the banana peel and then just sort of fell off stage with it still out and died. <laughs> like, I, I couldn't, like, retract it in time. I don't know. I tried to, I think, but I probably just panicked. All right. Um, wait, did I... What did I do? I have Isabel on there twice. I must have... Like, I must have uh, done something weird when I was moving characters around. Like, so I feel like sometimes I'm like, I end up like, I have like a little document that it uses to display the icons. And I feel like sometimes I like accidentally paste in the character that I'm switching to rather than the character that, you know, I recruited or died or whatever. I'm trying to remember if we got anybody but Little Mac or Snake today. Because that would be what I would have accidentally done, is pasted them in. I guess I could just look at, like, Mario, DK, Link, Samus, Yoshi, Kirby's dead, Fox is dead, Falcon is up there, Buff is up there, Ice Climbers are dead, Sheik is dead. Doc is dead. Ichu's up there. Marth is up there. Game and Watch is up there. Pit. Pit's dead. Um. Wait, what did Pit die to? I know I just lost him earlier. Oh, Sigma. Um. Snake's up there. Pokemon Trainer's up there. Lucas. Yep, is up there. Olimar is dead. Lucaria is dead. Villager is dead. Mega Man. Mega Man! That's who I didn't actually put on there. I... <laughs> even though I already used him. Okay. Well, we definitely got Mega Man 
after Little Mac and before Snook. Yeah, it's uh, not great if I update this incorrectly because I, <laughs> I have to like, it's kind of my only audit trail, <laughs> so I got, I'm gonna just keep checking just to make sure I didn't do anything else wrong. We Fit is dead. Little Mac is on there. Pac-Man is on there. Shulk is on there. Duck Hunt is dead. Inkling is on there. Simon is on there. Isabelle is now dead. And then we have the DLC characters. Me Sword Fighter is dead, and Me Gunner is on there. Okay. So we gotta switch characters. And I am thinking. I don't know. Pac Man? I just was thinking of playing Pac Man after I saw him on there. So why not? Yeah, I really think with the with this Ready? like this fight is actually not that bad with a you know such a strong spirit uh, for me, but just SD. Like I don't really have any doubt that I would have won that once it was a bunch of one v ones against these me brawlers. Oh, I did not realize that he got that PK fire out. Hey, I rolled behind you. And Ness is not particularly close to dying this time. Maybe we can change that. Oh, I was about to get him. All right, now he's out. Got him before he could get his final smash out. That's great. Oh, they start with like a partially charged meter. No wonder. going, man. There you go. How do you think from a design... Oh my gosh, what? That just killed? Why did he... Okay. I do think from a design standpoint this fight could stand to be shorter. It's just like a little drawn out. I guess... I guess I... Maybe if you... You know. If you don't have like as powerful of a spirit, you haven't necessarily, like, won the fight once you take out, like, Ness and, like, the first couple of flying men. Oh, this is Ness! Okay. Awesome. Ness, super valuable character to get. Ready? Go! Hmm. Dang it. <laughs> I don't even know what if that would like kill or spike or anything. It just seemed like a cool thing to try. Oh, I wasn't but I wanted the apple. Oh dang it. Oh, never mind, he's dead. <laughs> I was like, oh I didn't hit him, dang. Oh, but he's dead. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I guess I'll settle for him being dead. Alrighty. 
So yeah, apparently we just can't go that way, which makes having come up here... Well, it wasn't useless because we got to Ness, but not as useful as I was thinking. Oh, I still didn't change my skills, did I? Or did I? I don't remember. Yeah, I did. Okay. And I can get uh, my unflinching charge smashes back. Cool. Okay. All right, things are looking up. So now, if what we wanted to do, mess around up there. I mean, we could go do the Cami fight now, actually. That would make some sense. Is this actually taking me where I wanna go? Not at all. There we go. That was, that was this way. Okay, now that we have this thing, just go double stamina up. Yeah, this was like one of the worst fights I've had so far in this run in terms of losing characters relative to expectation. Killer! Oh, that was... Oh, maybe we can still do it. Dang it. All right, well. Harry, my hydrant? Oh, that hit me. Dang it. Luckily, it doesn't really do that much. Is this too close again? No. That frickin' bouncing fish, I swear. Uh, I'm dead. Okay, just keep doing that. I guess that didn't really heal me that much. No! God! <laughs> How do I beat this jerk? Ugh. Man. 
I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have even been trying it, because I now that I already found Ness, like I'm not even sure what I'm getting to. Uh... Yeah, it's that... I just don't know how to like space around the bouncing fish and the needles. And with a stamina fight, Sheik doesn't have to kill you. She just has to hit you a bunch of times, which is what she's actually good at. All right. Um, I don't know. It's gonna go range. Okay, and kicks and knee strikes. What? Back again. It's pretty sure. Wait, why did it? Where was the like the ending kick? There we go. All right. When in doubt, just find a way to cheese them with Final Smash, I guess. Really probably not worth, but... But we did get there in the end. up here another fighter obviously I don't remember who I guess it's a stamina fight though yeah all right I'll just stick with this thinking switch to giant because it's like a much lower level enemy but I it is stamina battle so I'm not sure that makes sense the enemy it didn't say that the enemy is giant after a little while like aren't they already giant <laughs> well okay they're giant -er. Covered in fog, time battle. Okay. I think we can afford to use Sigma on this one. What's Cammy's special deal? Foot attack makes sense. Uh, 
about air attack, double dash attack? Oh wait, we gotta get we gotta get our fog immunity up. Oh, never mind. All right, dash attack. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Always great to get a fog immunity spirit as a reward for a fight you would want to have fog immunity for. I'll definitely be useful. Floor is lava stamina battle. I should probably just go with Bomberman for this. Lava resist. That's lava resist. Do I not have lava immunity? I don't rem actually remember. I don't? We get lava immunity. I think you get it in Bowser's Castle, maybe? Uh. I mean, it really shouldn't be that bad. annoying now. He was that close to, to dead. Yeah, I'm I am doing Shadow Dragon uh hard five. It's uh <laughs> it's really hard. Uh I'm not sure if the if if it's going to be very <laughs> enjoyable to be honest. Because <laughs> like the episodes are gonna be like super long. Okay, stage is covered in fog. Stamina battle occasionally takes sudden damage. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, hmm. I feel like I'm getting to the point on this little section where it's... Oh, normal playthrough. Um, I feel like I'm getting to the point in this section where it might actually be harder than just going to Bowser's, ca Bowser's Castle anyway. Or getting Pikachu for that matter. Occasional t occasionally takes sudden damage thing is pretty... Although I don't know that we're going to get anything in Bowser's Castle that is going to help with it, so maybe it's fine to just go for it. It's too bad that the light shield is a disadvantage. I could imagine it still being worth doing, but I don't I don't really know how important like the type advantage thing is anyway. I wonder if I should even be using fog immunity or if I should just be like 
doing something else to make sure I have the firepower, but... I don't know, let's scout it out. <laughs> yeah, that one was ridiculously long. But, uh... Yeah, I guess it just depends on, on what you want from it. Oh my god! Aha! Oh my gosh. Alright, if we can just... Come on. Come on. Come on. Get back here. Stop that. Is he literally just gonna stand there and do that? Okay. <laughs> I found a way to cheese it. Oh, there's the lava floor immunity. Right. Metroid. Sticky floor. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Okay. So for this, we need to get... Sticky floor immunity and yeah, I did. I did finish it. Although I have sometimes like started the next playthrough before I finish the previous one. If like, because sometimes a lot of times with the zero percent growth stuff, like the last couple chapters are like the most uh, daunting. So sometimes I'll like play like a couple of episodes of the or, or chapters of the beginning of something but for Radiant Dawn that's not really the case <laughs> so I didn't end up doing that uh yeah so oh actually I want to check if no I don't have any skill points okay yeah I guess I guess the goal here is just don't get hit by the Metroid. I mean, that would be true anyway, but like you can't kill them with assist killer. Ready? Go! Ow! Uh-oh. It's already here. No! Ugh. Oh, gosh. No. <laughs> Off of me. Ow. I'm really close to final smash here. Now get off. Catch him with the end. Yes. Got him. Okay. Yeah, well, if, uh, yeah, I, I can tell you that, yeah, I haven't played, since I haven't played the game before, I make lots of, uh, silly mistakes and other things. Like, it's, it's a very different sort of playthrough than the Super <laughs> Sentinel stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, Xamus, hello. Alright, now we can... Oh, let's just go giant.
Yeah, I don't know that... I threw, what, like, five fighters away on Kami to get to Zamas. It's just I didn't, I didn't think I should have been losing any of them is the problem. It makes it hard to, like... <laughs> it makes it hard to, like, decide when to stop. Because it's a sunk cost thing. Like, it, there's... You know, in theory, but obviously you should... You know, you have to recalibrate your expectations of, like, how hard the fight is if you keep losing it. Suit Samus. All right. Still, we're getting getting the uh, uh, top row filled up. Okay. Now we can go up and do the gourmet race stuff. I guess this would be a good one to level up Ocelot on. Sure, we'll go giant. Still. Oh, interesting. Lip is the one who does this? Okay. Uh, yeah, we're not trying to level up any blues, so I guess we could use Sigma. I mean, it probably doesn't really matter. That's still super overpowered. <laughs> Is there anything that would be worth... I mean, we could go in with disadvantage. They, they, all they do is shoot arrows. Like, they not that scary. I've almost lost fights like this before, though. Or maybe... Maybe we can... Yeah, we you know we can probably enhance Ocelot at this point. Like, we're not going to be getting to the four stars particularly soon. Other than the one that we already have, I mean... This should be fine. Ready? Go! Death screams of these pits <laughs> or uh, something. Man, how do I like get out of that? It's so annoying. Oh, right, this is also another way to Gallium. I forgot about that part. Okay, so it's not... That's 
Well, I guess we're gonna want to go up there anyway. Uh, eventually, because like there's at least one character up there. Oh, hey. I'm battle. You can be giant too, I guess. Seems fine. Say hard to launch, but <laughs> and she just dies to up tilt. Okay. I was kind of hoping I would get to break her shield and kill her that way, but so okay. Yeah, we can't we can't restore the bridge, but I, it's weird that it doesn't tell you that from the other side. Wait, is that the only way forward? I thought there was an, another way. I don't... No, I guess I did have to fight, do this fight last time. This would be a good one to have Sigma leveled up. Let's just... That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Just do this. Like, how much stronger is he than Min Min? Eh, I mean, not that much stronger, but he is stronger and he's got more slots. And Min Min doesn't have an ability. I guess he's much more tilted towards offense. I wish, I, wish I'd go at War Club for this. It's a pretty good crowd control item. Sure, why not? Gosh, that counter. Oh no, my R Club. Actually, they're a... Are they... Is that a three-star green with three slots? I think it might be. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Something to think about. So we can get a skill. All right, I haven't actually figured out where I'm going next. This area has a bunch of good stuff. My recollection is this doesn't quite as much. Yeah. And I don't really care too much about these. Like, special move power is generally kind of whatever. The stuff down here is super not great. Even with smash attacks is interesting. These are solid.
These are not bad either. But... Well... What I really want, actually, uh, is probably Metal Killer and Air Attack up. up. So I think, I, yeah, I'm just going to go this way. Alright, so if we want to do the Gourmet Race stuff... Go this way... I don't think there's anything... At this point, the only ones we even want to consider are like, trying to level up are greens. So, yeah. I'll we'll just bring out the big guns here. I guess we could do a green one for this. Keep working on the Ocelot or work on these guys. It's just one. Oh, it's Yoshi team. Yeah, whatever. It'll be fine. Couldn't possibly get punished for taking risks. It's never happened before. Ready? Go! That is a lot of We got a couple of them. There we go. No problem. No... No chance of something going wrong there. Definitely not. I guess I'll switch to Ocelot for this one. Poor Ridley. Oh, okay, he finally made it. <laughs> he like could not figure out how to get back on stage. Victory. 
All right, as I recall, there's no value to doing the like, uh, um, like second and third place finishes to this. It's pretty much just the first place finish you care about. So, you can do, if I recall correctly, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. This, 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 this. No, that, I don't think that was correct, actually. Nope, that was not correct. Dang it. Just some spirit. Do we really have to do this each time, though? I can just pan the camera. So maybe it was I was supposed to go like up, and then I don't know. I know it involved getting a bunch of the stuff over there. So like. Go there, 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 yeah, 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 okay, so it's the start, my start was correct. But then, yeah, it was, I got too greedy right there. What? Oh. What? Arg. So wait, if it wasn't that. Oh, I could go around this little thing and get that one too. Is 11 enough to make the difference? Maybe. I don't know. But I certainly could have done that. fun. Makes fights fast. Ready? Go! Night off. Oh. Oh my gosh, I DI'd that completely wrong and I still survived somehow. No! Oh my god! This DDD! What? <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, rip me, Gunner. Dang. DDD, that was. That was uncalled for. 
Uh, well, we play Shulk, but obviously shirtless. Wow, that was nuts. See, that's more like what I was looking for. <laughs> well, we traded me Gunner for DDD. Is that an improvement? No, probably not. Oh well. These things do happen. That's nice. So yeah, we can go over there to get to Galeem, but there's no real reason to do it now. So instead, just head back down here. What is this? Oh yeah, never mind. I mean, well, we already have a four-star blue. We don't need James McLeod. No reason to mess with that. Right, this is just leading to a chest. Not really worth it. Is there anything relevant over there? I don't think so. I guess we could see. dash attack up or something, and then... Oh, maybe that's... Oh, no, that would be another way to get to that chest. Yeah, whatever. No, this isn't... None of this is important. Or actually, I think I want to... Go down here. Okay, so now we still got to do Bowser's Castle, so that seems like the next logical step. That's mostly it, in terms of what's left. There's also, like, the little section to the left of the lame, which we need Rob64 or Slippy to get. I don't remember where Rob64 is. Oh, and then there's Pikachu. We can get Pikachu on the way over there, I guess. Constantly take minor damage. Uh oh. Yeah, I think this is the one where we use the healing shield and cover it like a green. We I think being giant is gonna be good, actually, because we wanna just kill quickly. Yeah. Ready? Go! Like that! Yes, let's go! <laughs> oh, lava floor immunity, eh? Well, we already have one of those.
I mean, I don't know that we needed to be giant for that to happen, but I should check. Skill tree. All right, yeah, landing lag down. That's, that's fine. And we'll get easier dodging, I guess. Yeah, sure, whatever. Pikachu is so low level like, compared to the spirit that's guarding it. It's weird. And all the other unlock fights we've been doing recently. Dang, Pikachu. Calm down. So, so far we've lost, what, four characters today and gained three, seven? Unless any of the, I lost any of the characters that I gained, which I don't think I did. So that's, that's pretty good on the whole. Alright, so to get to Bowser's Castle, we can just head right up this way. Alright, this let's use the Pegasus Sisters for Tiny DKs. Giant Beam Sword. That's how you deal with Tiny DKs. Giant Shirtless Beam Sword, no less. I thought he was still out of range, but I thought he was going to descend below my range, so I thought I might as well try it, and it turned out he was definitely in my range. Big ol' smack. I can be giant too. Frequently am these days. That did 76 damage! Oh my gosh. I mean, you know, that's the scaling of the spirits, but still, dang. <laughs> Seeing the number be that big is still pretty wild. I'm not normally paying atten that, like, that close attention, but... Notice that one. Oh, this is just... You know. Um... We could probably do Ocelot for this one. Periodic Earthquakes, yeah, so we can do Falling Immunity and we can still use our Beam Sword. Beam's Word.
I probably should have done Bowser's Castle earlier, if only to get Peach, because Peach is so good. But... Whatever. I think things are going pretty alright, as it is. Stamina battle. Alright, I guess I'll take stamina. Since I'm not bringing my most powerful stuff. And we could use this. Fist attack. Well, I think that's the fourth one, so I probably don't need four of them. But that does remind me. Since I have spirits, I don't need anyway. I wonder if we can summon anything cool. I mean, probably the answer is no, since last time the answer was no, but yeah, you never know. Sure, until you check. It certainly doesn't look that way. I guess it's possible that this pit is good. Staff equipped. Staff equipped. I don't really care about that too much. By too much, I mean at all. I mean, I'm willing to try it. You have to spend some SP, but that's fine. Thirty seventy-eight at level one. I do not know how that compares. Well, no, actually, I do. Um, that's definitely stronger than the than the, the Pegasus sisters. He reduces jump. Weird. Okay, so that might not be so good. Eh, whatever. You can get easier dodging. Boom Boom is pretty scary, but luckily we have... We're, like, way overpowered for this. <laughs> we can be giant, too. It's like really annoying to fight because he just interrupts you constantly and you can't interrupt him. But I guess if you're overpowered enough, it doesn't really matter too much. Now I know Boom Boom is not worth training, so I won't waste resources on that like I did last time. I need Bowser team. They all start with Bobombs? I mean, we can still probably do this. They're tiny. Ready? Go! The answer is yes. Whoa. I, <laughs> that that hitbox st stayed out for so long. I was like 
hitting one of them, and then I was hitting three of them, and I think the fourth one SD or something. I don't know. Is this... Oh, no, that's not Leaf. Okay, but we do need to go over there at some point, so we might as well do the fight. Oh, Lava Floor. How about that? Oh, well, we do have Lava Floor immunity. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do the Zelda fight in the in the Rathalos zone, and I have the the light shield. All right, I need to remember to do that uh, to get uh, Toon Link before or after I beat Bowser. Rather. Oh, I don't want to take it. You take it. Imagine knowing how to use Shulk's back air. Nice! <laughs> Got him. Leaf is somewhere around here, yeah. Leaf is alright, but I don't think he's worth training because we have Sigma. So that's another one we can skip over. Dark suit, well, light suit. Dark suit into light suit, too too good. For light world, at least. Once we get into the dark world, of course, everything can be hard, even if you have like the most upgraded spirits. But at this point, it's pretty ridiculous. Seems like another ocelot battle, probably. Is it stamina battle? And they're gonna throw shurikens at me? All right, we can just do. Yield stamina up, stamina up. I wonder if there's a third stamina up somewhere. Probably is. I feel like I had more than two in, when I played World of Light the first time, but it's probably like in something that is out of the way and I don't need to pick Ready? up. Go! Just spam there. I'll pretend I'm playing Ike. You know, it, it goes the wrong way, but whatever. <laughs> Close enough. One could argue that at some point it's okay to do, use a different move. Oh no, I did use a different move. I used fair. What a disaster. Punch. <laughs> Is this... Yeah, ho -oh. I wonder if we could beat that with the, the light suit. I don't know that there's a point in doing so. I can't remember what Ho-Oh actually does. Maybe I'll look it up. There's a couple of, of like, four-star supports in the light world that are, like, actually pretty good. Additional midair jump. Eh, I don't think I would ever really use that. The other one is Viridi, which gives you like hyper smash attacks or something. I don't know. Yeah, this is another fight that's ordinarily scary, but probably gets trivialized by the loadout we can bring. Ready? Go! 
Ah. Oh. Ow, that actually was pretty scary. I didn't mean to go to Buster. Okay, cool. I was trying to keep him from using his final smash. I wasn't sure if that might have killed me. What's the hardest difficulty? Now, this is the first time I've played it. Well... Not the first time I've played it, but the first time I will have completed a playthrough. <laughs> That's why I said, like, I don't know what I'm doing, which is, which may or may not make it entertaining, depending on your preferences. <laughs> uh, I've played, like, a handful of chapters. I played a handful of chapters when the game came out and didn't really get into the game. And then more recently, I played the, the first couple chapters again to just, like, see what I thought, if it would like was going to be worth doing, and test out uh, my recording setup and stuff, and... What do I need to do now? Is another switch? Yeah, it might make it funnier. It might just make it frustrating, depending on people's familiarity. Like, it, somebody who knows the game might just be like, Oh, you're an idiot. Oh, right, this one is ready. Okay, here we go. But honestly, the game is just hard. Like, I mean, I think... I could be wrong about what people will think about it, but the game is, is hard, and, like, I... I would expect people to have, like, some level of understanding of that. <laughs> people who are familiar with the game, I mean. Yeah, I can't imagine Don Don wanting to watch my, my playthrough of Shadow Dragon R5. For, <laughs> like, two hours of me fighting, like, ten enemies. <laughs> Uh, all right, so what is this? Again, we could probably just do Ocelot for this one. Easy to launch after a little while. That is a little scary, maybe. Maybe I'll just play it safe. Awakening Lunatic is nuts. Um, I would say... So I did play some Awakening Lunatic. I didn't end up finishing that. This was, like, long before I started, like, uploading anything to YouTube. Uh, but... And I was... At that point in time, I was still trying really hard to, like, do things like not use Frederick because he was going to steal the EXP and stuff like that. Uh... That gives you an idea. But yeah, so I don't I don't have like a the most direct comparison of the difficulties. I would say Awakening Lunatic is probably harder, um but at least the early game. Uh I mean I can only compare the early games because that's all I've played. But I don't know. It it's it's a similar feeling of like the enemies just being way stronger than your characters. Um, also, it turns out there are, uh, ambush spawns in Shadow Dragon, which, uh, can't say I'm especially a fan of. Uh, that's an understatement. Okay, this one we can do... I don't know, one of these two. I'm gonna do this one. Jump down is a little awkward, but maybe it's not too bad. Sometimes numbers are just what's what's important. The bombs will rain from the sky. Okay. Uh, give me... Shield durability, then. At some point, I would like to do... Uh, Awakening Lunatic. Uh, just to, like... I mean, uploaded. Just to, like... I don't know. Because I like doing hard stuff like that, <laughs> at least for Fire Emblem. Um, but I don't know if the, the the state of the emulator is good enough yet. I have to test it. And the problem is, like, if it breaks, like, halfway through the game, then it's just like, oh, well, crap.
Yeah, cha is chapter one the one with like the bridge in the middle and the like the river? There's like a there's like a hill on the in the like the lower left, or maybe it's a some kind of terrain. But like there's a a river running through and then a bridge. I, anyway, if I recall that correctly, that chapter is super hard. Like just like absolutely crazy. And uh, I don't remember thinking that the prologue was so bad. Like. I think the first chapter of Shadow Dragon is probably harder, but I don't know. I, it's been a long time since I actually played it, so I could be misremembering. But yeah, chapter one, I remember. That was the one where I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. Oh, it's chapter two? Okay. Well, then it was chapter two. Oh, is chapter one the thing where everything's on fire? Where you get Virian? Alright, now we get to get Peach, like the best character, well, the best all-around character in World of Light, along with Daisy, because her final smash is so good at beating hard fights. I mean, Ness and Lucas are super valuable for specifically, like, certain fights, but Peach is valuable in so many fights, it's crazy. Alright, well that's good to know. I mean, I own a physical copy, I just don't have a way to, you know, car capture card it. Or maybe I own a digital copy. I don't know which. Whatever. Probably digital. Apparently we can get a skill. Oh, I should put Peach on the board. Improve escape. Actually, I mean, we're about to go fight Bowser, or Giga Bowser, so I shouldn't do that yet, because I'm going to reconfigure that stuff anyway as soon as I get there. Do -do -do -do. That way, just kidding. Yeah, the, the, the one thing about the emulators, I guess, also is that they... Being good or working with one game doesn't necessarily mean they'll work with another game. I mean, it obviously it's correlated, but we need lava floor immunity. put in work. All right, well, that's that's good to know. I mean, I, I, I what I was actually thinking is I'd play Shadow Dragon, and then probably after that I'm going to play uh, New Mystery, because I, I was thinking I didn't want to play the, like, the untranslated games until, like, the next, you know, remake or whatever come, came out, but they're not going to do a remake of New Mystery, at least not anytime soon. Um, maybe they'll localize it at some point, but... Even if they do, they probably won't, like, change, like, it probably won't do anything except mean that, like, some of the text is different. As opposed to, like, you know, uh, an actual, like, remake where they might change the mechanics or add characters or supports or whatever other things they might do. So, but then maybe after that I'll start messing around with the 3DS stuff. Uh, this is, like, you have... 
Yeah, that's like a giant Ridley that shows up afterwards. Okay. Yes. Just go. Giant beam sword. Old reliable. Can you, is there even a home run bat spirit in the game at all? I mean, home run bat isn't like actually that great anyway. Just because it's so slow. Not like in like melee, but I don't remember ever seeing a home run bat equipped spirit. Maybe they think that'd be too strong. All right, here we are at Giga Bowser. So time to reconfigure. So what are we gonna want? We're gonna want air attack stuff again. So we can get rid of this. Uh, I guess we're gonna go this way first. No penalty for continuous dodging is actually fairly helpful in this fight as well. We don't need any... Well, no, we don't need Endless Smash Holding. So, Metal Killer. Air Attack up, up. I, I, I would like to keep Hyper Smash, I think. We got 53 right now. Um, so, to get to Air Attack up over here... We should have enough if we get rid of these, I think. Just kidding. Guess I should have done the math. Okay. So would I rather have Hyper Smash attacks or Air Attack up? Probably. Probably Hyper Smash Attacks. Alright, I'm not... not thrilled that I ended up doing that, but I guess I'll turn back on Endless Smash Holding and just call it good enough. Um... Well, I've gotten... I've run Citra before, I just haven't tried to record anything with it. All right, and then do I want to stick with Shulk? I mean, I guess so. There's not really any reason not to, probably. Definitely going with Healing Shield, Shield Durability, and Air Attack. It's easy to forget, but we also get Bowser as a character after this. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the whole, like, Ness and Lucas. I, I was thinking about Ness and Lucas for, uh, for, um... Ow, dang it. I can still do this. But it's obviously not as good as what Ness and Lucas can do. Anyway, I was thinking about them for Galeem, but I forgot about using them for this fight. Thought he was gonna up smash. Oh my gosh! Yeah, not nearly as effective. Yeah. 
Oh, hello. Dang it, I misread that. I'm so scared. I can't can't deny it. as much knockback as I thought it would. charge that. Ah! Okay. <laughs> that was... I was playing, like, super cautious there. At least I, I would describe it as such, but... I think it was the right play. Yeah, I definitely should have brought Nessar with this. But fortunately, I was not punished for failing to do so. <sighs> so far, so good on the bosses. And that even includes uh, the Zapfish. I actually, yeah, I haven't lost a character to a boss yet. So we can get to Galim, but I want to unlock that other area first. Where is Rob 64? I mean, I could go beat Slippy too, but I would rather do the easier fight. Oh, we've also got to go get Young Link down by Rathalos. I'm just going to look up where Rob64 is. he's in the base? I don't remember that. Let's head back there, though. This will probably provide convenient access to get back over towards um, Athelos. That warp pipe takes us over there. He's not... He's not... I guess... 
maybe we have to beat the Parasite Queen and then we unlock him. That's a possibility, because I don't know where else he would even be in here. Yeah, that's got to be it. So I guess I should... Actually, maybe I won't change my loadout, because I'm going to fight... Well, I'm going to want it different for the Zelda fight. Mm. Whatever, it won't matter for this fight. My skill loadout, I mean. Because I, if I fight, when I fight Gleam, I would rather have what... I, I guess what I could do... is fight Galeem first. And then go back. I mean, that would... All that would really accomplish is saving some SP, which probably doesn't matter. Yep, sure enough, here he is. It's, uh... He's Ocelot, I guess. Fine, I'll do stamina. Ready? Go! Backslash! Get out of here. And... Yeah, I'd rather go just go do this now, because it's right here. So... I'll start by just forgetting these two. That back. That back. Uh. He's back. That back. That back. That back. We're at 47. We've got Hyper Smash. We've got double final. We don't have uh, this. Okay, so we're going to need to get a little bit more over here. Alright, there's our unflinching charge smashes. We've got 37 left. So, I mean, ultimately, we're still going back in this direction. We could take strong throw in the meantime, or critical health attack. Critical health attack might be a good idea for this fight anyway. Alright, we're going healing shield. Is this a stamina fight? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so we'll do double stamina. And... Busting out the peach. No messing around here. Straight to peach. Gold peach? Sure.
Whoa. Alright, well, uh, so far this has not uh, been the difficult fight that I recall it being. I mean, I'm just overleveled, so to speak. Yeah, that was not bad at all. <laughs> I remember that being super hard, but... I guess it's not just, like, the spirit, it's also the skill tree stuff. Alright, I'm switching off of Peach, though. Not risking any sort of accidental SD shenanigans with Peach. Much too valuable. Let's play, let's switch it up from Shulk though. Let's play DDD. Why not? Good stage design. Oh, I didn't know that would happen. I don't know why. It seems obvious in retrospect. Stop running away! This stage is not fun if you run away. Ow! Damn it! This little Zare. Okay. Toon Link get. Almost built full on that top row. So the only characters we should have left at this point are like Falco in that upper left area and the characters in the, like, the uh, DK and Street Fighter dungeons that are super scary to try to go get. Learned that, relearned that lesson last time. What's the best way to get up there? Oh, it's actually, we gotta go left and up the ice climber path.
Oh, this is a stamina battle. I should have paid attention to that. Oh, well. Ready? Go! I guess it didn't really matter. Victory! But it certainly wasn't the sort of fight where I was going to just be able to knock him off the side with the beam sword as a giant. Chest. Low gravity. Isn't this a giant Mario? Yeah. Alright. I'm not gonna use this as a training exercise then. Giant DDD can take giant Mario, I think. Dead. Yes. <laughs> oh, I remember maybe losing or almost losing to this one because I didn't take it seriously last time. Yeah, is the enemy's just like super buff. All right, so we're not gonna. Mess around with that either. Just gonna go. Full power. Ready? Go! Oh. Oh, what? Wow, well, it should, shouldn't really matter, this damage. Wow, I dropped like a rock there. I <laughs> did not mean to, it kind of scared me. Here is Falco. Ready? Go! Oh, I wanted to belly flop on him. Falco's laser stuffs the Gordo. Oh, 
Ha! Oh my gosh, he dodged it with his get-up attack. Or, I mean, was it the get-up attack? I think it was the get-up attack. His legs looked super extended. Victory! Alrighty. So, I don't remember which is the easier way to get to Galeem here, this side or that side. Probably doesn't matter too much. This fight certainly isn't hard. In fact... Get some snacks. Soon enough we're gonna be having to upgrade brand new four stars and all that. Probably not that way. I want to take this one lightly. I guess we can do giant assist killer. Ready? Go! Oh, it's stamina. I really need to read. <laughs> Dang, man. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my god. I'm gonna frickin' die. I was not trying to take this lightly, but the... Oh my gosh! Ha! <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't take it lightly. Jeez. Yeah, that Starman did a ton of damage to me. I got, like, trapped in the PK fire and it shot me, like, a bunch of times. And... Yikes. That was bad. Bad, bad, bad. sort of weird that there's like a spirit all alone over there. It makes you wonder what it is. But I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we have to beat this one or... I'm pretty sure there's a three star on that side, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Just get out our light shield. Or healing shield, light suit, whatever. Light healing shoots suit shoot sealed. Yeah, that that's 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 the it's called, I'm pretty sure. Oof. Oh 
Dang. Oh my god, that destroyed him. Holy crap. Alright, well it's looking like what we do here is we fight Gleam and then we call it a night. Oh, we gotta fight Master Hand though. That's right. Alright, well we don't want Giant for that. We want probably air, double air attack. I guess we'll do this with DDD. We could uh, go ahead and also change our skill loadout. Um, take off the final smash stuff again. All right, so what do we want here? Probably air attack up up. That would... And so now we have, we have that, we have uh, hyper smash, critical health attack. I, I don't know if I particularly want that. Um. Need anything items related. Getting all the way around to air attack would pretty much require taking off these two, which I wouldn't mind doing, but maybe more than just that. 50, yeah, that wouldn't be enough. So, taking off unflinching charge smashes. Ah! I don't know, I don't really think it matters too terribly much. Perfect shield recovery. Could grab that. Maybe I'll grab sprinting endurance. Sure. I'd rather have air endurance, but that's fine. get my shield up. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Got a little close at the end there. But it's all good. We continue the streak. Oh, we can get another thing here. 
What can we get? Strong throw certainly isn't relevant. Transformation duration also not relevant. Yeah, we either need to forget something or we retake transformation duration because we're going to eventually put it back on anyway. That's what I'm going to do. All right. So now... Healing shield. Yes, air attack up, up, yes. But also Lucas... I did not think I was going to avoid all that. I think you can absorb those. You can absorb the, like, fireballs. Which he has not done a single time. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't do it until this stage. much for a uh, flawless run against Kaleem. Not really what I was going for or expecting, but I wouldn't have complained. Ow. Not well aligned there. Okay, here we go. Mmm, delicious. Not that we even need that much healing, but, you know. Not gonna complain. Oh, fuck! Here we go, yes! Yes.
Close. No. No. No! Oh my god, I can't believe that. I was, like, there was literally no visible health bar left. And it, like, caught me at the top. I was like, oh, I got, I got the finish right here. And then, like, oh my god, I can't believe that. Oh, that's... That's terrible. That is terrible. I didn't really even... I had, like, hardly any damage going into that either. I guess it was, the, like, the blue orbs that caught me off there. I probably... I don't know. I probably got a little too aggressive or something, but... Dang it! Ugh. That feels really bad. Slightly off there. Dang it. That was did not turn out to be worth. Ow. Thank you for taking care of that. That those those the explosions from those little X bomb things like are like have so much knockback. Ah, God. No, 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 no. No! No! Oh my god! <laughs> no! Oh! Well, now I've got to really clean it up. Oh, man. I can't believe that. Basically... Caught out on the side again. Oh boy. I have no idea who to pick now.
Oh man, losing the absorption is so bad. Not just for now, but for the, for later in the game too. Dark World. Well, it doesn't really matter who I pick, I suppose. Maybe just somebody heavier who hits hard and like DK. Oh, gosh. Can't believe that. After all that success against the bosses, to lose with both Ness and Lucas. Yeah, I clearly was not kiting the this thing correctly. Like that. I probably did get too complacent about it. Like, oh, I can just heal the damage off. See, now that's stuff is uh, threatening rather than helpful. This went down too quickly there. Ah, shoot. I just realized. Right, I was like, my foot was sticking out. Oh. Shield durability wasn't quite there. Maybe I should have taken shield durability up actually rather than one of the air attacks. Okay, there it is. Well, <laughs> oh man, it feels bad to lose Ness and Lucas, but at least I was able to do it without the absorption on the first try, so that's something to take comfort in. And I mean, I do have a lot of characters left right now. First, we haven't gotten into like the hard stuff in the Dark World or the part after the Dark World yet, but... But, um, I mean, overall, I only lost two characters to bosses. It just uh, happened to be Ness and Lucas, which is really unfortunate. <laughs> um, 
Oh, I actually wanted to check and make absolutely sure that I didn't want to do anything else in the light world before I plunged into the dark world. Get up, DK. DK. Yeah, yeah, okay, I know. All right, let me, come on, give me control back. All right, so just looking at the map, we've done all the dungeons we're gonna do. There's like that one icon in the middle of like a bridge we haven't repaired, but I don't, that doesn't lead to anything important, at least I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, just a dojo, so that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I think we're done here. And probably done with this stream as well, just about. Although I think I am going to go ahead and reconfigure my skills. Uh... All right, we know we need this so that we can get to double final smash. Let's forget these. Let's leave this one short, okay. Which means we can't keep air attack up, up. I didn't really think that we could, but we're one short of, oh no, more than that. Yeah, well more than that, okay. Okay, so now, so we got our hyper, we got our double, we got our unflinching, we got our fast, we are up to no penalty for continuous dodging, and we're saving towards metal killer, and then air attack up, up. Um, the other things we could, we could consider grabbing is like a, mostly just critical, yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. Just wait. Or, well, of course, Metal Killer isn't very useful unless we're fighting a metal enemy, so arguably I should do like I did early in the game and take some stuff in the interim, but I'd like to remember that that's what I am intending to do for next time, so I guess I'm gonna leave it alone for now. And then next time... Actually, I guess another thing I could do is, like, keep trying to buy orbs here and snacks. Yeah, like, got all this SP anyway, why not? I mean, I don't really want to, like, abuse the shop too much, but... We've only got one of them, so it's not super abusable. Anyway, um, I think we are... I, I think I'm going to stick to the pattern of going this direction first. Um, well, let me think about this. So who are the top four stars that we want to wanna get? I know Alucard is one. He's down here in uh, Dracula's Castle area. Um, Akuma is down there too. Uh, forget where the for the giant uh, bulborb thing is. I think it's, I think that one's up at the top. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should split a little bit more ear than just, a little bit more by ear than just like going straight in for this and assuming that's the best path. I, I feel like I should be able to remember, but I don't. So in the meantime, um, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time as we begin our campaign in the dark world. Uh, having, let's see. So in total, we have collected one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take care. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We have, we have 24 characters plus a DLC, which we haven't dipped into at all. And we've lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 characters. So that's not too bad. Um, I don't remember how it compares to when I entered the Dark World last time. But either way, I think uh, from the last run, my lessons learned mostly have to do with how to do a better job in the Dark World and, and the next one anyway. So like doing about the same in the Light World is fine if that's what happened. So there you have it. Until next time, which will probably be sometime later this weekend, but uh, don't hold me to that.